Ba, ba, ba. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 68. Ah, 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 ah. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, um, I, um, I just recorded this podcast and I can't go back any farther. Fuck. I just recorded this podcast, and I fucked it up. I completely fucked it up to the point where I just said, fuck it, and I'm going to restart. I wasn't paying attention to the timer on the friggin' camera, and the shit stopped recording who knows how long ago, and I was talking for pretty well maybe a half hour. Without the camera recording. Didn't even notice. And right now you're like, well, what are you doing with the the computer? Why are you pressing all these buttons and stuff? Well, because I just recorded the fucking... Because today I'm doing the goddamn fast food uh, power ranking. You know, you've seen seen iDubs do it. You've seen Ethan from uh, H3 do it. And I'm going to do the Canadian version. The restaurantes you would uh, you would see in Canada. Now they're not they're not Canadian restaurants. Some of them are, but the um, the majority of them are like American and Canadian. But it's just it, these are just the restaurants you will see in. Canada if you come here these are the, the these are the average places you will see so that's what that's what my fast food power ranking is gonna be all about the Canadian version you understand now I just did this I recorded it but I'm like fuck I gotta do it all over again because I fucked it up okay we got a card here full of info so we're gonna have a good uh, b- 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 podcast episode 68 but this time we're not gonna fuck it up okay so let's get down deep and get funky right here i got the power ranking look what we got five guys kfc greco pizza quiznos mary brown's arby's pizza hut dairy queen carl's jr domino's wendy's a and w new york fries harvey's mcdonald's burger king <gasps> swish la robin's donuts tim horton's papa john subway taco bell taco time we got them all right here, baby. We got them all here. Now, obviously, this isn't everything. But uh, nobody can do everything. Nobody can do everything. So what I did uh, before I fucked it up was I was just mm, fl- throwing them in from least favorite to most favorite. So at the very end, you'll figure out what my supreme is going to be. And you'll either be surprised or you'll disagree with me. Or something else. Who knows? Who cares? So let's get started! Um. <coughs> so my least favorite has got to be Arby's. This place is junk. Okay? We got roast beef. And a bunch of other deli bullshit on some disgusting buns with really good fries. That's all they got going is their is their friggin' curly fries. Other than that, Arby's can take a hike. I don't want anything to do with it. I will never choose to go there. If there's an option between Arby's and anything else, I will pick anything else. I don't like Arby's. If Arby's is my only option, I will eat there. I'm not afraid to eat there, but I will never choose to eat there again. Okay, let's move on. Um, we're going to do pizza stuff now. So, Pizza Hut. Do you like Pizza Hut? I don't really, okay? Here's why. I grew up in a small town on the eastern side of Kanata, uh, which would be over here for you, I think. Right, because when it flips, or would it, no, it would be here. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's on the eastern side of Canada. Um, yeah, 
Sydney, Nova Scotia, Cape Breton Island, okay? That's where I was from. There's a family there from Napoli, Italy, okay? They came to Nova Scotia, Sydney specifically, whenever, and they, you know, started their own rest pizza place. And let me tell you, that's the best pizza I've ever had. And that is what I grew up on. That's the pizza I know. So, you know, when I grew up and started trying Domino's and um, Papa John's and all and Pizza Hut and all this bullshit, nothing compares to Napoli. So pizza is a touchy subject for me specifically because I know what good pizza is. You know, I've never tried New York pizza, which I'm sure is delicioso. Or Chicago, but I don't like deep dish. Anyway, let's raise this up. So, Pizza Hut, out of all these pizza joints out there, Pizza Hut is the worst. It's not pizza. It's literally, it's like a frozen Delicio or DiGiorno pizza, okay? That's Pizza Hut. Don't go there. Papa John's? It's good. I'll eat it. But it's not anything special. Same with Domino's. You know, it's good pizza, but it's nothing special. Okay? Uh, is there any other pizzas on here? I can't see. Can't remember. Don't see any. Oh, wait. There's Greco. Greco! Um, <laughs> a lot of y'all probably don't even know what Greco is. It's uh, Canadian. I don't know if it's all over Canada. But I think it is. Or it used to be. It's a dying uh, pizza joint. You don't see many of them anymore. But it was known for two things. One, it's square pizza. Two, it's commercial, you know? It had a catchy uh, jingle. 310-3030, Greco, 310-3030, whoo! That was it. Uh, everyone knew it. Everyone grew up on it. It has a little bit of a special place in my heart. Greco, one of them burned down in my hometown, and I was never the same since. So Greco, and um, oh, I should get into the pizza quality. Was it good? I mean, was it better than Domino's and Papa John's? Yes. Was it better than Napoli? Not even fucking close. Can't compare. So it's getting a C. I mean, what are people? Th what are people saying right now? You're saying Greco's better than Domino's and Papa John's? Fuck you! Make your own power ranking then. This is mine, okay? This is my list. I disagree with what Ethan says about Burger King. Strongly. But that's his list. He can do what he wants with it. This is my list. If I want to put Greco in C, you can't tell me not to. So. Eat a pencil, because I'm going to try to reduce my cursing. Thank you, YouTube. Thanks, YouTube. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, let's move on to... Um, here, let's organize this a bit, okay? So, Mary Browns and KFC. Fuck you, you can't. I said the F word. Damn it. There it is. Okay. Move Quiznos. Mary Browns. We got chickens right here. Chicky, chicky, chick, chick. Uh, and then let's do all the burger joints up in here. Boppity boopity. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Burger King. Oh, great. Do it again. And, uh, and dub. McDildos, Harvney's, okay, New York, New York Fries is its own little category, Subway is up here with Quiznos, Robbins, and Tim Hortons are something, Swiss Chalet is like a little family restaurant, and we here, down here we got a little tacos, okay, boom, now we can work, now we can work around here. Let's get these chicken categories out of the way. KFC and, and Marie Browns. Uh, if you're in the United States, you probably haven't heard of Mary Browns. I think. 
I think it's Canadian. I don't know. It might be in, in America. Uh, but that shit, they got better chicken than KFC. They both, they both uh, got the same menus pretty much. You know, deep fried chicken, popcorn chicken. It's all deep fried and they got the similar fries. And the only difference is Mary Brown's got some delicious taters. You know, they got taters. Uh, I don't think KFC has taters. <gasps> I got hiccups. I'm dying. I'm dying. <sighs> okay. It's okay. So, KFC. Greasy. But it's going you know, to taste all right. So, C. Mary Brown's Delicioso. They got good chicken. They got good salads. They got good taters. They got good gravy. It's just all good. So, it's going in the B. I'm not putting it in A. Because it's still, it's still a bit greasy, you know? It's still not. It's not A quality. All right? But what classifies something as... You know, A quality or S quality, huh? Huh? There's a lot of factors at play. And one of them doesn't even have to be the taste of the food. It could just be your emotional connection to that restaurant. But again, like I said, this is this is my list. Everyone's making their own list. Ian from iDubs made his own list. A lot of people disagree with him. A lot of people agree with him, but... The average person is not going to have the same fast food power ranking list. If you make your own, it's going to be different than mine. Guaranteed. So, let's, with that being said, let's move on. And let's continue. And you can continue to see how I like my food. Let's move on to subs. Oh no, yes, subs. Now. Uh, I believe Quiznos tastes better than Subway. You know, they have a better variety of options. But they're both just subs. You know, it's a great place to go if you just, you know, you're hungry, you need something to eat, and you just, let's go to Subway. Just, but it's not, it's definitely not B quality. Mm, definitely not above B. So I think they're both C. Hmm, maybe. Can I do that? Fuck off! Ooh, this is a piss off. I think Quiznos should be C. And maybe Subway should be D. Right? Because, you know, they also have Jared, the Subway guy. Here we go. Quiznos. Quiznos is better than Subway. It's gotta be. Um, where are we now? Uh, let's get these tacos out of the way. Um, if you've seen the H3 power food ranking, uh, Dan, the producer, loves sub -ta uh, Taco Bell, but, um, he's a vegetarian, so that's, uh, he doesn't, he really can't eat any of these other restaurants. So that's why he's like, I think Taco Bell's an A or some shit. And uh, Ethan did not want to do that. And I don't want to do that either. So Taco Bell. Is Taco Bell better than Taco Time? Hmm. I don't know. I've eaten at both. And they both got good qualities. And they both make me shit my pants. They both give me diarrhea. And if the place is going to give you diarrhea, I don't think it deserves anything higher than a C, at least, you know? But which one out of the two would I prefer? Probably Taco... Ooh, I don't know. It's tough. I think Taco Bell over Taco Time. So, Taco Bell C, Taco Time... They're like the same, you know? I can't... They're in the same category. If you're Canadian, you know Tim Hortons. If you're Canadian, you might know Robbins, or you might not. Robbins is a dying industry, just like Greco. Um, it's basically 
basically Tim Hortons, you know, or Dunkin' Donuts, place you can go get maybe a sandwich, but it's a donut coffee place, okay? Um, and they and Tim Hortons is is now everywhere. Used to, you know, but it's it's known to start in Canada. It started it it made its appearance in Canada, Canada. Um. Hmm. Uh, Tim Hortons. The really only thing I like about Tim Hortons is the drinks, like the coffees and the and the summertime slushy drinks and stuff. I will order food there, like sandwiches and wraps and stuff and they are good no you know what they are good what am i saying so i think tim hortons is a c now robbins there's only three minutes left we'll have to continue this into the next 20 minute segment but anyway robbins i have an emotional connection with robbins that place oh if I see Robin's logo, it just puts me back to my childhood. I love it. But I haven't been there in years. So I don't even remember what the coffee tastes like. I don't even know if I ever had a Robin's coffee. But the donuts were good. I remember that. But the place was... I don't know. I just like it. I like Robin's, but it does not deserve a B. There's no way... But it also, does it deserve a C? Does it deserve less than that? Is Robbins shittier than Tim Hortons? Most would probably say yes, but mm, <laughs> I can't. If I, had a, if I literally had a choice between Robbins and Tim Hortons to go to, I would go to Robbins. But I don't, know if, I don't even know if Robbins sells like sandwiches and stuff been such a long time since I've been there. <sighs> ah, you know what? It's it's pretty well dead. There's no way it's better than Tim Hortons, so I gotta put it in the D. Ah, oh, this hurts to do that though. Damn. Damn, boy. Uh, let's get these oddballs out of the way. Swiss Chalet and New York Fries. Swiss Chalet, uh, I'm sure you know it, family restaurant. They've got good stuff. They got that chicken sauce. That stuff's good. New York Fries has fries and a couple wieners, you know. But their fries have meat and sauce and cheese on them, and they're good. Don't get me wrong, but it's just fries. It's got to be on the lower end of the spectrum. But not too low. I honestly think it would be a D. It's hard for me to put restaurants in E and F. Like even putting Arby's in F. I don't want to do that. Because I would feel like in order for something to be really an F, I'd have to, I'd have to have hated so much that I would never go there. But I, I can go to Arby's, you know. I still could go there and eat the food. I just would not prefer it. So that's, I guess that's the scale. It's F if it's unsuperior to what else you got. We got 40 seconds left. So, let's, uh, Pause her and get into the next 20 minutes. Where were we? Swish LA, New York fries. New York fries. You're, 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 push. you're going in with the E. You got good fries, good intentions, but no, you know what? You're getting a D. Sorry. I mean, it's better than me, but it's a D. Swish LA, average, you're going in the C. Okay? Now we're down to Harvey's. A. Mm. A and W, McDildos, Burger Jing, Wedney's, 
Dairy Queen, Carl's Jr., and Five Guys Burgers and Fries. I had issues with what Ethan had to say about these ones. Some of them. He dislikes Burger King and DQ. Those are great places. How could you dislike them? They got good freaking burgers. And Burger King is one of my all-time favorites. Okay? I rarely go there because I like it so much. Because I want to... You know when you listen to a song so much because you love it that eventually you get sick of it? Because you heard it too many times? And now you're disappointed? Because at one point you knew it was so good... But now you can't even enjoy it anymore? Well, I don't want that to happen to me and Burger King. So I don't go there often. That's how much I like it. So Burger King, to me, belongs in the A column. Again, this is my list. You can get aggravated. But it's my list, okay? Dairy Queen is good, but does it belong in A? No. no. It belongs, belongs in B, because it, it is good. good. Now, now, Wendy's, they got, they got their, their square burgers. burgers. And everything's good, good on their menu. menu. They, got they got Frosties. And, and some other shit. <laughs> is, is it A? A? Is, is it B? B? It's definitely, definitely not any lower, lower than that. that. So, so I, I think it's B. B. Faux show. show. McDonald's, McDonald's. Classic. Classic. And, and W. w. A&W, I'm sick of. I live, I live in a small town currently that only has A&W and Subway available for a fast food place. place. That's, That's it. it. And then there's, there's like, like one local restaurant. restaurant. Anyway. anyway. Um, so, so A&W, A&W for me. Fuck it. I hunt. God, God, I gotta, I gotta stop, stop cursing. cursing. I'm trying to... I'm trying to Trying, trying to, to lower, lower my cursing. cursing. For, For YouTube, YouTube standards, standards, you know? You know? But, I, but don't I don't even notice, notice it half the time. The time. So, so there. there. A&W, A&W goes, goes in, my, in the C, C category. category. C, C would it be nice, nice if we were, were homeless? homeless? Would it, it be nice if guys were gray? Now. now. Harvey's. 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 Another, Another dying, dying joint, joint of fast, of fast food, food restaurante. restaurante. You don't, you see, don't many see many of them. But, but damn, damn, they had, they had some, some good, good burgers. burgers. Like, like real, real good. good. To the to point, point where, where I'm putting, putting it, it in, in A. a. Yeah, that's yeah, right. that's right. Harvey's, Harvey's is, that is that good. good. What happened? what happened? Where'd they, Where'd they go? go? Harvey's, Harvey's is there. there. McDildos? Classic. Classic. Can't go, Can't wrong, go wrong with McDonald's. McDonald's. Well, you well, can, you can actually. Because that, that shit's... Uh, uh, Bologna. Bologna. It's not, it's as, not good as good as Burger King. I don't, I don't care what you say. Is it, is it B? Mm, I don't, I don't even, even know. They got, they got good, good food. food. For sure. For sure. It tastes good. <sighs> but I don't know. McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. McDonald's, McDonald's. It's tough. It's tough. Because they, they influence you. you. They're all, all over, over the world, world literally. literally. You go to, you go any, to city, any city, there's, there's more, than, more one than one within, within you know, you know, a few blocks. A few blocks. Like, they're, like just they're just everywhere. everywhere. So to put, so to put them, put in, them a in a low category, category would almost be like, like People would be like, how? Like, how how can you do that? You know, they're, they're an established, established place, place, but... but... Man, man, this, this is, tough. is tough. This is this really, is really tough. Man, man. I don't even I don't know, even if, know I if I agree with this, with this list, list, list to be honest. honest. Like, but it's but it's, it's you know you know 
if I did if it, I did again, it again, it would be, it would be generally, generally the same. The same. Like, like, but McDonald's, McDonald's is a tough one. one. I don't know where to, where to put that one. one. It's definitely not, it's definitely supreme. not supreme. And I know what you're I know thinking. thinking. You're, you're looking at the last three. three you know, like, okay, okay, so, so it's, it's five guys, Carl's Jr., McDonald's. McDonald's. One of them one are going to the ass, right? I don't know. I don't know. How do you know I'm not going to take one of the bottom categories and throw it up in the S like a curveball? I'm not gonna I'm do, not that. do that. I don't, I don't know. How many minutes? How many minutes we got? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. okay. I wasn't sure. That wasn't was sure. That was thirteen or three. Oh, oh, nonsense. Nonsense. Fuck. Fuck. I'll skip that. I'll skip one. that. Charles Jr. Charles Jr. Charles Jr. Charles Jr.'s burgers resemble Burger King. Burger King. At least in, At Canada, least in Canada, Canada, they do. I don't know. I don't know what it's like in the U.S. But in Canada, the Charles Jr. Burger is is like eating is like eating a Whopper. It tastes. The it tastes same. the same. Like like it looks. The it same. looks the same. Smell, it's, smell, it's, it's, the it's, same. it's the same. So I'm so going, in the, going in the A because I like. Because I like it. Um, um, so we're down. So to we're down to McDonald's and five, and five guys. guys. Is five guys. Is five guys. Number, number one. one? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Okay. I agree with, I agree Ian, with on Ian on this one. one. Five guys. Five guys. Is a great, great place. It's so. It's so good. That's a. That's a good burger. That's a good that's a burger. good burger. Okay. Okay. That place. That place is great. Is great. Five five freaking, freaking, freaking guys. guys. You know. You know. McDonald's. 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 I don't know where to put them. He's just kind of just kind of sitting here. You know. You know. Getting in the getting way. in the way. Fuck it. He's Fuck going. It. He's F. going in F. There you go. There you that's go. My that's my power ranking. ranking. Do you agree with my power ranking, my power ranking or, or do, you wish do you wish I did something, I did something different? different. Let, me know. Let me know. I'm sure I'm you sure disagree. You disagree. Se- severely. severely. And, uh, and uh, if, that's the, if case, that's the case, good for you. Good for you. I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud, I'm proud you can... You can uh, you can disagree. You can disagree. Lock, lock, chip, chip, snish, Excuse me. Excuse me. While I just do some here, stuff I'm here, just, I'm just well, well, saving, saving a picture, a picture. Um, um, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Ooh. Sorry, I'm not talking because I'm doing stuff on the on the web. I'm trying to trying to. F- I don't know why I'm doing it. I I could do it later. Okay. Podcast focus 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 focus. <clears throat> so here's something to think about. Ah, stretch your leg. I'm just stretching. You know what? Let's have a hoot. Ah, let's have a hoot. Let's get the mind flowing, shall we? Shall we, Olive? Oliver's right here. Olive, come here. Look, it's Olive. He's a little puppy. He's a little dog. He's not a puppy. He's full grown. And he's snorting. Okay, get down. Get down. Get down, Olive. I got the green biggity bastard out. And uh, still, still got that King Louis, the tuna weed. Oh, right. Here's what I wanted to say. Um, I think I mentioned I wanted to do like an every Friday schedule. But then I thought, damn, that's, for YouTube standards, that's a long gap in between episodes. Because what I do is I pre-record these upload them and put a scheduled time for them to just sh- to go public but the problem with that is you know I could I could be like three episodes ahead which would be like three weeks ahead and by that point you can't be relevant to what's happening in the now because by the time you talk about what's happening now it's going to be uploaded like three or four weeks from now so what I have to do is just upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, or Fridays. 
so that I can get the get the podcast out. And then if something controversial or something comes up in the world that needs to be talked about, I can have that episode uploaded, you know, sooner than later. And obviously the best would be to get it uploaded while it's happening. But that's hard to do. Because I say at the beginning of every episode, the number of the episode. It's not like I can uh, just interchange episodes and be like, oh, I'd rather have this episode uploaded before this one because this one has more information about what's going on today than this one does. So I'll just upload this one first and then upload that one later. I can't do that because I record them in order and I say the number at the beginning so it's... I'm figuring it out though. We're at episode 68. We're getting close to 100. So cross your balls and tickle your wieners. Because shit's about to get crazy. Okay. I'm going to have a hoop. So cheers. I burst out with a song after I have a hoot because it just feels so good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> National Anthem. I live in uh, California. If you're wondering, right now I'm in California. Was in Denver, now I'm in California. Or am I? You'll never know. Okay. <sighs> All right. That's what I was going to talk about. It's right on the card here. Throw it on the floor. Talk about what's on the card. Make sure you pay attention to what the minutes are at because the camera's gonna shut off and you're not even gonna notice. Huh? You say something, boy? 68 episodes ago, I decided I'm gonna do a podcast. But I didn't want to do a video podcast. Uh, I was just getting into Joe Rogan and, and, uh, who, who was the other guy? Doug. Doug, uh, what the fuck? Benson. Yeah. Getting Doug with high. And, uh, <coughs> so what I would do, um, I would go, cause I would, you know, I wasn't living in a spot where I could just smoke weed in the house so 
I would go out to my truck and I'd smoke weed and would be listening to music, usually, or a podcast. No, it was music, always. It was always music. And all I would do was just a little pipe. And it was back when, the you know... Actually, this was way before the 68, the beginning of the 68 episodes, but... Um, I would sit I would sit in my truck, get super baked, listening to music, and then I would take out my phone, turn on the voice recorder, and I would just start talking about nonsense. Like none of it made sense. <laughs> but it was funny. But I would fucking laugh and laugh. And that's what I wanted the podcast to be. Originally. I said, I'm just gonna this podcast, is, and I was, and I called it the Lit Fuse Podcast. There's actually like two or three episodes uploaded in between the first few episodes of this podcast. You can find them on my channel. They're just audio. I call it the Lit Fuse Podcast. Anyway, and now I thought this is what it's gonna be: just me and my truck getting baked, talking about whatever the fuck. Noth- none of it made sense. But it was just like stories I would make up with the weird thoughts that would come to my head. I think there was some stuff that I would talk about that was normal and and made sense. I can't even remember though. And then I went from that to, well, I should do video as well. Because that's what the cool kids are doing. And I thought, well, I need a backdrop. And lighting. I got the camera. I've always had cameras. Cameras was never an issue. I just changed the battery. Why is it almost dead? This is... Was it not charging? It had to have been. These batteries suck dick then. They can't even last... Uh, how long have we been recording now? Like Almost an hour? Because I fucked up in the beginning. Like that shit bad. Well, it's probably because I got the viewfinder open the whole time and we recorded video. That probably has something to do with it. I would think. Too bad I can't just plug the camera in. And record while uh, it's charging. We're getting a constant supply of power, I should say. Oh, too bad I can't use my Sony. That shit's fucked, though. I, I fucked it. I done fucked it. I was f- formatting the hard drive, and I totally fucked it. I don't even know why I did it. I should have just left it alone. Uh-oh. There's only 44 seconds left, people. Good thing I noticed. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. There's only 37 seconds. You gotta be paying attention to this shit. I did. What are you talking about, boy? <laughs> now this this is the shitty part. You know there's like only 20 seconds left. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to jump onto the next topic right now. So I'll just sit here in silence. Yes! We got, we put our coins in. We got 20 more minutes. <laughs> That's I've said it before and I'll say it again. That's what it feels like. It feels like I'm at an arcade. In order to continue recording, I gotta put another nickel in there. Or another quarter. <clears throat> um, the pocket watch. When I fucked up the first recording, I I showed this. I think. No, I did. But I, don't, I can't remember if I showed it again. So I'll show it right now. Um, we're gonna see if the time is still correct. And for those who don't know, which... Yeah, there's no one watching anyway, but um, I got this pocket watch. I'll take one more close-up. This will be the last close-up of this pocket watch ever, okay? You can kind of see it. I, I don't have a really a macro lens, so I can't get much closer than that. But it's like an old, it's a 1903 Mercedes. Woo! Okay. Fancy, fancy, fancy. It's a pocket watch. I got a Canadian tire. Don't know what Canadian tire is. Don't care. 
um, <laughs> and it was in this area. They had this area set up of uh, things people returned for whatever reason, and you could buy it. You could buy it for a cheaper price because it was returned, and each item had a note that uh, said why it was returned. Um, but I can't remember if this was in that or if this was just an item packaged next to that group of things. But anyway, I bought it in that area. And when I first got it, I noticed the time didn't really, wasn't consistent. It was slow. So I, a few podcast episodes ago, I reset the time to the correct time. And then I checked it in the next podcast and lo and behold, it still said the correct time. So let's check it again to see if it has the correct time. It's 4.01 p.m. currently where I'm at. The pocket watch says quarter to one. So no, the thing's slow. The thing's useless. It's garbage. You can't even get inside it to get the battery. And even if you did, would that be the, the, is that the issue? Is it because the battery's almost dead that the clock is running slow? Or is it just a piece of junk? I only paid $10 for the thing. But back in the old cowboy days, that would have been an inexpensive pocket watch. And it would have worked great. But in 2019, that's not the case. $10 $10 pocket watch is a piece of garbage. Then there's no use for it. I can set it to the correct time, but within a few days, it's just going to be wrong. So, so what's what do I do with it? It just looks cool now. I'll bring it back and uh, get my money back. Mm, I don't have the receipt. I don't have anything, so I can't. It's only $10. Who cares? Moving on. Moving on. For the longest while, I had uh, my microphone on the wrong setting. If you don't know, if you're not familiar with Yeti microphones, let's let's take a zoom in on here. Let's take a little let's take a little walk down microphone lane, huh? Oh God, everything's so shaky. Okay, can you see? Can't you see what this woman? Let me. I can get that closer, I bet. Let me get it closer. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, bud. Okay, you see? Can't you see? <laughs> it says pat. Oh, can you see? It says pattern. Uh, and I got it on like a little upside down heart. And I had it on something else for a while. But this one's recommended for podcasts. So I'll put it back on there. There's my gain. I don't know why I'm showing you this stuff. The other side doesn't really look any better. So I'm not going to show it. Okay, let's zoom out here. Wop. Oh, can we zoom out more? And then... Now you can see the part of the door, which I hate. That's why I zoomed in a little more, but doing that cuts the bear's head off really badly. And now you can't even tell what's going on, and I hit the microphone thing, and it makes a loud noise. Everything sucks about this desk in this room. But it's better than nothing, it's all I got. Okay? Someday. Someday, it shall be better. Someday, there will be multiple cameras. Someday... We'll have a big desk. Someday, we will have holes drilled into that desk with mic stands sticking out. Someday, this background will be painted on a wall. Someday, I'll be in a mansion. No, I won't. I'll never get there. I will be forever stuck in a slump.
Oh, I should tighten this. I shouldn't say that stuff about myself. Hey, nah, I think I'll be all right. Ah, just trying to tighten something. I'm not doing anything inappropriate. Ah. Oh yeah. Every time I tighten it, it turns the mic a little bit into the wrong position, which is counterintuitive to what the clamp is for. You're supposed to clamp in a position you're, you're, you, you want, you know? You want this position, clamp it in place. It's not, you want this position, clamp it in place so that it moves out of, you know, and it moves on you. Biggity boopy. It's doing the opposite of what it's intended to do. I want to clamp it in place. It wants to clamp and move it, which doesn't make sense. What are you talking about? Just get on with it. Your stupid NASA shirt. <clears throat> been 68 years since 68 queers have talked to me the old times will never be the same it'll never be like it used to be you know ow everyone has their their favorite memories and they love thinking about it they love going back to that time that simpler time, but you can't. Yeah, you you can't. You can only think about it. You can't actually go back to it. And then a few years pass, and then you think back to the moment when you were thinking back. And so you gotta wonder: Am I living in the good old times right now? And then 20 years from now, I'm going to be thinking about what I was doing right here. And the answer is yes. Yaha. Uh -huh. But up to what point? Like if I'm 70, am I going to think back to when I was 50 and miss it like the good old times? Or am I going to be like, or am I going to think I want to go back even farther? I don't know. Because I haven't experienced being old yet. But I'm always curious about being old. What it's going to be like. Am I going to be like super humble? And just okay with life? Unlike now, where every day is a, a nightmare? Huh. <laughs> Let's get dark. Ah! Oh, these topics suck. Oh, shit. We still have... Oh, my God. I have a whole fucking... Okay, we got 10 minutes left. That should be enough time. I was going to show a bunch of Reddit stuff. Stuff I saved on Reddit. I don't know. Something to do. Why are you making fun of me, choo-choo train? Leave me alone, choo-choo. I go choo-choo. Everybody say a choo-choo. I'm just waiting for my recorder to start up. <clears throat> Why don't you just record the whole time? Well, <laughs> shit. Why would I do that, huh? It's a waste of, uh... It's a waste. It's a waste of space. You don't need all that shit. Is she recording? She is. Okay. Look what we got here. Stanley Kubrick taking a mirror selfie with his daughter. While Jack Nicholson thought it was a photo of him. Okay, we'll get to that one. But we're at this. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Ready? Puts his arms in. Puts his other arm in. Here he goes. One, two, three. Bam! Oh, fuck. That would hurt, right? Yeah. Okay, here's the Stanley Kubrick one. So Stanley Kubrick taking a mirror selfie with his daughter while Jack Nicholson thought <laughs> Jack Nicholson thought it was a photo of him on the set of The Shining 1980. Look at this. Isn't that fascinating? 
Jack Nicholson's not even in focus in this photo. Stanley Kubrick and his daughter? Why are they sitting like that? That seems weird. I don't like that. <laughs> but Jack, the Nicholson man, thought they were taking pictures of him. I don't know. I just... I don't know. What do people have to say? To be fair, if I were Jack Nicholson at that time, I would have also thought they were taking a picture of me. Well, true. True that. Oh, here's a good one. She dropped 22 quarts of ranch dressing at work. Let's see. Let's see. No sound? Oh, look at that. It's all over the place. You know what people are thinking when they look at this, right? White. Oh, look, there it is. Boom! White goopy shit all over a uh, hot blonde's face. <laughs> That's a lot, too. That is a lot. A lot of white goop on a woman's face. That's a lot of white goop. Sorry for the, for the racket. For the microphone racket. Can't help it. Okay. Video's over. Here we go. We got a sheep. <laughs> I remember this one. Am it's on animals being derp subreddit. The sheep got stuck in the swing. <laughs> just watch. What? <laughs> He's just swinging. <laughs> that's funny. If you don't think that's funny, you're stupid. Because that's funny. He's trying to get... <laughs> like, what is he thinking? It must be so... <laughs> like, what's going on in the sheep's mind right now? I wonder. Because it's so... It must be so strange for him. <laughs> First comment. He's not stuck. He knows exactly what he's doing. <laughs> That's right. Imagine if he did. Oh, here's a good one. Video titled, Just a Normal Pub. It's just a normal pub. You want to see it? Should we full screen this one? Yeah, I think we should. Because this is a good one. A normal pub. I should have full screened all of them. I don't know what I was thinking. Here we go. It's just a guy or girl something dancing. Wow, that's, you know. It's not like that out of the ordinary. But then we got this guy. <laughs> and then this guy. Which, who knows what planet he's on right now. And then, and then the little fucking, uh, what do you want to call him? A dwarf? Can't be disrespectful. And then this lady with her cast. And, like, look what's going on here. It's so, there's so much randomness taking place all at once. And it all starts with this weirdo right here. Which doesn't look that weird. And then it just goes crazy. And it escalates. Like this guy. What is he doing? He's beyond drunk. Who knows what this guy's up to? And then she has a broken leg and a, a fucking arm crutched banuga. Well, her leg's not broken. It's a foot thing. Yeah, I know. It's loud. A normal day in Ireland. How many minutes? Five minutes. Okay, we gotta speed it up. Don't fucking... Okay, we got... Anti-poachers guarding the gorillas safe, safe, self, selfie. Don't, doesn't that look like gorilla costumes? Right? Unless it is just costumes. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm showing this one. Okay, here we go. What is this? I don't even remember what this is. All right, yeah. <laughs> the cow and the tongue. What's the title? Doesn't say. Great. Oh, all oh, right. This is a, a, a gif. Okay. This is the end of it, though. Okay, here's the start. Are you sure? <laughs> and this guy who's so wet of it. Almost like if they had uh, the limbo there, he could do pretty good, I bet. <laughs> I love how far back he goes and gets right back up. That's pretty good. 
And he's buying more beer. Okay, what is this? Black magic fuckery. Oh, yes. This fella. This is a real guy. He's just frozen there. Isn't that cool? I mean, you've seen stuff like it. The the silver the silver guy basically like this, but this is this is a different take on it and I thought it was pretty interesting. I don't know. I like it. Ah This I liked as well. SpongeBob. This person painted this stuff for her for her friend or his friend. We've got north, east, south and weast. <laughs> Remember that? I thought you said weast. <laughs> Hairy leg and and the this is the jellyfishing episode. These are great photos. Iconic SpongeBob moments. You look at these and you instantly think about the episode and you remember what happened. Great. Oh, don't look. Cut it out. <laughs> Here we go. This is the start. <laughs> it's a cat. It's a cat in a claw machine. How fascinating. What do we got here? Let me full screen it. Oh yeah! The drum. This is a cool sounding drum. And we got 2 minutes 17 seconds. So, I'm not going to show this whole video. But you get the idea. It's basically all she does. It's kind of stupid. Oh no, it gets better. That's right. I forgot about this. Okay, we only got two minutes left. Okay, we gotta, we gotta move on. What is this? Oh boy, it's titled Oh Boy. We can finish on this. It's only 10 seconds. Oh, oh that's a lot of ear gunk. <laughs> Gross. Okay. Uh, it's obviously a Snapchat. <laughs> oh, I, I remember this one. Sweating because I have a line of wheelchairs waiting to use <laughs> handicap stall. <laughs> so this guy <laughs> went into the handicap stall. <laughs> and now there's a, bu <laughs> a bunch of handicapped people outside the stall waiting to get in. <laughs> He's going to have to come out. With no wheelchair, and they're gonna have to see him. <laughs> so here it is. Oh man, this is a great one. Just look at this guy's face right now. He's. Oh man, could you imagine <laughs> being in that situation? Sitch of bacon. That would. Oh man. What are they gonna do? Jump you? <laughs> Very funny. Ever have your toes run over? <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Ever just walk to flex these quadriplegic fools? I'm disabled. How are you disabled? Leg disabled. Someone stole your wheelchair? Okay. 14 seconds. Oh my god, I went out of 14 seconds. Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching the Diamond Gizmo podcast. I'll see you in the next one. Bop bop scooby dee bop bow. Wrap up, wrap it up. Fucking end this shit. I got a guy, I got, I got stuff to do. Come on, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up, people! What do you mean?